Internet. My name is Abby and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program on Wings. We are back with our lace and wall lander and we currently do have a very special view because on the left side we are able to see lace, on the right side we are able to see the jewel and we do have Tylo and the sun in the middle and well this is pretty amazing to have four celestial bodies at the same time in the same view and well this is pretty cool. And now, Optop and Tender are happy, they are enjoying their ride around Lays, and they are looking forward because I think it's now time to leave Lays and to aim for well to have the final landing on Wall to finish off all the different celestial bodies in the Kerbal system. So let me just set a target to Wall. And well, only a few minutes have passed since we did the first flight of our the first flight of the new space plane parts and whoa look at this this is pretty close already can we get this even a bit closer this is looking amazing and yes we do have the chance to have a direct flight out to wall this is cool okay uh 550 if i it's increasing if i'm using this way it's decreasing this is good 99 kilometers, sounds amazing, 68 kilometers, 43 kilometers, 10 kilo, oh, no, 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 not 10 kilometers, 23, 61, 67, no, no, this is the wrong direction, you get a 28, no, no, I like to have around 40, 65, 28, 24, 26, 28, Come on, oh no, this was too much. Eight, me eight meters. No, 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 no. Seventeen. Thirteen. What am I doing here? Let me sixty-four. Okay, let's go for sixty-four. Sixty-four meter uh, kilometers is good enough. Okay. Um, this is amazing. This is really amazing that we can do a uh, more or less direct flight out to a wall. And here, um. I haven't really done any time warp or anything like this, I just, after we docked to the Jewel Supply mission in the last episode, uh, point two five came out and I thought, okay, now it's time to try out the space plane parts. So I did this and then, well, I came back here to my wall and lace lander and, well, this is just amazing that this is working so well. Okay, let me now not remain control. Okay, I'm controlling from the right side and I think at two minutes I will do the first burn in order to see uh, if this is the right spot or if I should wait a little bit. But wow, this is this really, really is, is great. This is, this is amazing that uh, everything is working so well. Okay, so I am able now to perform a direct flight from lace to wall and now let me speed up full throttle okay uh, what 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 something was wrong these outer engines were running why were these outer engines running shut down these engines shut down engine okay this was not completely helpful but okay um i fixed the issue i fixed the issue and i'm not quite sure uh, two minutes, I think it will remain at two minutes, although I am now uh, losing the power of the small engines. So I think at around 120, like now. Okay, full throttle again. Three minutes, okay, three minute burn. This is good, this is good. Okay, Optrop and Handler are now leaving. And I wasted just a little bit of fuel because I used these outer engines but i hope this was not too much of fuel i wasted and okay now we are leaving do we have a bushel on wall i don't think so uh, we are currently here wall is here wall is currently uh, hidden behind lace but this doesn't matter this doesn't matter and this is really amazing okay now we are leaving and i hope this time that this mission isn't running into any issues with uh, fuel consumption so that I'm not running into the trouble. Oh no, now I need to refuel the next mission also, like I had to do with the uh, Bob Expedition and the and the Tylo Expedition. So yeah, and 
Then these two cosmonauts are now leaving Lace to arrive at Wall. There they will enter in an orbit around Wall. Then Optop will perform a landing on the surface of Wall, and with that, we would finish the exploration of all the celestial bodies in Kerbal Space Program. And after I return back with Optop Kerman to this interplanetary stage, the only thing I have to do before we can wait for the right moment that Drew and Kerbin are aligned is to rendezvous their the Bob expedition with the um, with the Tylo expedition so that the lander can reallocate over to the other driving section and then able to return back home to Kerbin. And yeah, so everything seems to work out pretty well. This is amazing. And there is a huge meteor impact. Are we coming across? No, we are not coming across our first landing site. Oh, by the way, um, the flags are currently disabled. The first landing site is in the shadow. Okay, we are not able to see this. Let me disable this. Okay, uh, what about the burn? The burn is now only 46 seconds to go. This is good. What about the fuel? Well, I think we do have an, uh, enough fuel. I'm not quite sure how much uh, fuel I will need for the landing on Wall, and if I'm returning some fuel from, uh, with my lander back to space, this would be really helpful. Uh, well, then, I think we are good to go, because then both landers are pretty light, and then it should be no problem at all for our driving stage to bring back these two Kerbonauts with their capsule back to Kerbin in order to deliver the science and to allow them to have a vacation after the stressful flight and to do it. Okay, only a few seconds to go. Let me just zoom out a bit and we are getting closer. 12, 9, 6. Okay, um, why aren't we are having the encounter? Let me just continue a bit. I hope that will finally result in the encounter. There we have an encounter, this is good. Let me now close the maneuver node. Currently we are 1000 kilometers out. Now we can reduce this. This is amazing. I just like to keep this engine running to get closer and closer to wall. 600 kilometers, 500, 400 kilometers, 300, 200, 100. Let's cut it here. Okay, um. 80 kilometers. Can I get a little bit closer? 60. Okay. Now a very tiny, gentle impulse. 40, 40. Well done, well done. Okay. This is amazing. This is really amazing. Okay. Optop and Handler are now leaving Lays in 1 hour and 10 minutes. What? Uh, in 1 hour and 10 minutes, they will be leaving Lace, so let us speed up in time. Okay, goodbye Ocean Moon. It was nice to land on you. I had a lot of fun doing this and I had a lot of fun leaving you again with my special design for of my lander with the rapier engine. This was cool. Oh, and there's our target. There is Wall. This is cool. This is really amazing. I hope Optop is already really happy and really looking forward to this. Only 25 minutes until we will leave the sphere of influence of Lays and get back to the sphere of influence of Jewel to orbit around Jewel. Okay, 10 minutes, 8 minutes, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's come to a stop right now. Goodbye maneuver. Oh no, oh no. Now this thing is buggy again. This is bad. Okay, let me get a little bit closer. And now we are in space around Jewel. I hope this hasn't messed up my... Well, a little bit. We had a little bit bad luck with the often announced uh, thingy floating point arrow, but uh, we just reduced our wall periapsis. This is good to 21 kilometers. I hope we won't have the same issue again. So let me just, in 12 hours and 57 minutes, we will have our uh, arrival, our encounter with Wall. This is good, so let us now speed up in time again. 
and we can see how we are getting closer to a wall. This is amazing. We can have all the time the view over to wall. This is pretty amazing. And there's Jewel, there's Lace. Goodbye, Lace. And wall seems to uh, become a little bit smaller, but I think right now it should start to become bigger and bigger as we are getting closer to this moon, to this icy moon. This looks really amazing. And now the thing is really getting bigger. This is cool, this is cool. I'm really excited about this. Now we are definitely approaching this. Only two hours to go. The wall is getting closer and closer. One hour. Okay, I think I can speed up a bit. Okay, only four minutes, three minutes. Two, one. A few seconds. Here, only 29 seconds to go, so I can bring us a little bit closer. Okay, only a few seconds to go, and then we should be in the sphere of influence of wall. This is a really interesting looking moon. Okay, no target. We are now in the sphere of influence of wall. Let's have a look. We are not having really... I'm not quite sure. I don't think. Let me... Can I... No? I can't set up a trajectory yet once more. Why is all the time this, this issue with, uh, with the trajectories? I just like to... Okay, um, what do I need to do? I think... Luckily there, here are some markers on the nav ball. No, no, no. I think I need to to burn in the opposite direction. I'm not quite sure if this is true. Let me just have a short try. What happens if I perform a burn in this way? Will I then change the trajectory in the right way or the inclination? I'm not quite sure. Let me just try it out because currently I'm not able to set up a maneuver node. What would happen now if I do a burn right now? Yes, it's exactly what I like to see while well, the periapsis is okay the periapsis is even increasing and I'm changing a little bit the trajectory to a more or less equatorial orbit this is great I like to have an equatorial orbit okay like this like this let's let's cut the engine right now okay this is good so we are now in the sphere of influence of wall this is amazing this is really amazing and okay okay what should i do at first at first i should do a crew report crew report while in space high over wall the surface has many impressive and jacked mountain ranges you don't think you'd like to try and land on them okay 45 signs let's um no no let's keep it in the case okay, that there's again this issue because i'm currently having two spacecraft at the same time then I could do temperature, well, let's just uh, toggle the display, minus 200 degrees, but I could do toggle display too far from object, but I can lock the gravity data. Scanning from orbit provides a clearer picture of the internal makeup of wall. 180 signs. Wow. Keep it. And the most important thing, up top Kerman, switch on your lights, let go, grab your jetpack, and you now have a beautiful view over to wall. What are you thinking about this? 72 signs. Okay, keep the data. Well done. Good job, Optop. Good job. Okay. Now, let's grab and take data. And you can also take the data, your crew report and store it. I will transmit it back home um, once I undock from my spacecraft, because currently I'm not quite sure. Maybe the issue was also caused because we do now have two separate spacecrafts, as I wanted to transfer the, the data. But yeah, I think I will wait with this. And oh, now, now, I'm, now I'm able to set up a maneuver node. This is interesting. Okay, uh, we need to perform a burn to get captured at 96 meters per second burn. This is this is nice. 
Okay, let me see. What do I need to circularize my orbit? 32 by 43, 30 by 39, 340 meters per second burn. Here I think this is a good amount, this is a good burn. And this is also a great improvement. Now the nav ball has some indications where the maneuver node is. This is really a thing I was missing so long and now finally I do have the option to find the maneuver node right away. This is cool. This is really amazing. Okay. Now, now it's time to get closer to wall. Let us speed up. And we are approaching wall. Only 20 minutes until we arrive at the periapsis. Wow. And I like the color of wall. I like this, this icy bluish grayish color. And we will perform our burn directly across or directly over and above the terminator. Uh, there seems to be a very high mountain. Okay, and now let's come to a stop. And full throttle, full throttle to get captured. Okay, by now we should be in an orbit. We do have a view over to Tylo, I guess. This is cool. This is really amazing. Okay, Optop and Handler are drawing their right. This is cool. So, we are now performing our maneuver in order to circularize our orbit around wall. And now the sun is setting. The sun is already setting. This is set. And I'm currently thinking, should I? Well, it depends a little bit on the, the outcome of my capture burn. If I'm happy with the, with, the, with the resulting orbit or if I need to trim a little bit the orbit. But I'm thinking about going directly straight ahead for the landing when I return back to the daylight side of wall. That I will perform the landing right away. Maybe this would be an idea. But at first, let me continue a little bit with the burn. Fuel consumption. We do have a lot of fuel left. This is good. This is really good. Okay, and getting closer to the end of the burn. What have we done so far? 34 kilometers for the periapsis. Apoapsis is decreasing. This is good. This is really good. Okay. And cut the burn right now and 40 kilometers by 28 kilometers. Okay, uh, well, I think this is good enough. I can trim this orbit later on. Should I go... Oh, I have a contract parameter complete. Achieve orbit around wall complete. Well done, well done. Okay, um... Well, I think I will at first... Yeah, let me at first finish off the... The orbital maneuvers, I think I like to reduce a little bit the apoapsis to 30 kilo, or will I do this? Yeah, let me do this. Let me reduce the apoapsis to 30 kilometers. It's just a tiny little burn, 28 by 28, or 28 kilometers, this is good. So the burn will come up in 31 minutes. Now I can do a time warp, this is good. And as soon as I'm back in the daylight, and I'm directly across or above, the, the blue icy color of wall, I will do all the other experiments I like to do in space near wall. Okay, the sun is back, the sun has risen again, and now we are coming across, and it has a little bit the color of Minmus. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, up top, it's your turn again. Crew approach while in space near wall. The surface has many impressive and jagged mountain ranges. You don't think you'd like to try and land on them? Well, we will see, we will see. Uh, let's keep it at first. But I think I will try to land on one of these more or less flat areas. Over there we are coming across a, more, a really flat spot and I think it should be pretty easy to land on one of these flat areas because there are a lot of flat areas. Okay, this is cool. Now we do have to perform or to do some other experiments. What is the temperature, not the crew hatch? What is the temperature? Minus 200 degrees, lock temperature. 
72 signs. Well done, keep it. The Gravioli detector, 1.87 meters per second squared. Lock gravity data. Scanning from orbit provides a clearer picture of the internal makeup of wall. 180 signs. Well done, keep it. Um, we can't do this one, but we can do a mystery goo. Observe the goo. The goo feels right at home here. 90 signs. Well done. Earned. Science Junior. The high radiation would be fun to paint the rocket and so on and so on. Okay, 225 signs. Wow, this is cool. Okay, up top. Up top. Switch on your lights. And he is now floating directly. Oh, he's rotating. And he is now floating in space around wall. And this is cool. Look at him. He he's really enjoying his ride. And this is really an interesting picture to see this lonely Kerbal Nout floating in space, orbiting around wall. And wow, this is great. Okay, um well. Enough of that, he has to perform an EVA report. 72 signs. Okay, well done, keep it. Okay, let me now help him retrieving all the data he has collected so far with all his experiments. Okay, careful, careful, careful. And collect data, remove data, collect data, remove data. Well done, well done. Okay, let's get back to your capsule. Grab. Okay, uh, take data. And take data. And you need also to take these data because there's your query part and board. Well, a lot of data already stored. And we do have already nine stored data. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, we are now in orbit around lay, uh, around wall. And in seven minutes we will do the next burn. Wow, here are some steep mountains. So yeah, I will definitely land on such a flat area. I hope this should be no problem at all. Well, let me just think about one thing. Okay, let me at first get closer to the maneuver node. In three minutes, two minutes. One minute. Okay, I can get a little bit closer. Okay, let's stop it right now. Okay, let's perform the burn. And... Stop. Okay. So, I think uh, when I'm looking at, or when I have a look at the orbital velocity, I have the slight feeling that the gravity down here on wall is a little bit higher than on the moon. In this case, I assume, well, the landing should be no problem and landing on, his, on the moon is always pretty doable, so I think it should be quite easy to find a good landing area. The only problem is that I, I I shouldn't or I can't go straight down. I think I should more or less aim for a good position. Maybe at the terminator for a position over here directly in the daylight side. So yeah, I think this might be the only problem, but all the other things should be no problem at all. And yeah, this is looking really promising. This is amazing. And in this case, we do have something to do for the next episode. Well, let me already do one thing. I think we can... Uh, should I do this right now? No. I think I will trans uh, transmit the data later on. Uh, what else can we do? Science data around Bob, okay. Uh, Eve, explore wall, transmit or recover. I will do this as soon as I have undocked from my spacecraft, land on wall. Uh, 
this will happen in the next episode. Transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of all. This will also happen in the next episode. In this case here, I think this is now a good time to call it an episode because in the next episode we will then explore the soft surface of wall. In this case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when, as I said, we will land on wall. In this case, until next time, my name is Abby. See you!